Hey there! Welcome to Life Noggin. Believe it or not, you don't actually need your stomach, though it does help during pizza bagel eating contests. Stomach removal is used to treat a variety of medical conditions, such as life-threatening obesity, stomach ulcers, and cancer. For these cases, either just a part of the stomach or, as in some stomach cancer cases, the whole stomach is removed, and then the patient goes on to lead a pretty normal life, aside from some obvious dietary restrictions. While stomach or gastric cancer is not very common in the United States, Worldwide, it was the sixth most common cancer in 2018. Sadly, gastric cancer is also the third most common cause of death from cancer, with a survival rate at five years around only 30%. Once diagnosed, treatment options are similar to other types of cancer, chemotherapy, radiation, targeted and immunotherapies, and surgery. A complete stomach removal, called total gastrectomy, is often performed on patients with a tumor in the top two-thirds of the stomach, or when tumors are located throughout the stomach. The mechanics of the surgery are relatively simple. After the stomach and nearby lymph nodes are removed, the esophagus is reconnected to the small intestines, allowing patients to eat, swallow, and even digest their food. A study of 238 total gastrectomy patients at the Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York City looked at patient outcome for 90 days after their surgery. They found that 3% of patients died within that time period, mostly due to sepsis after the procedure. But the majority of patients, 37%, didn't have a single adverse event. After the recovery period, the biggest change, besides having one less organ, is their diet. Without a stomach, which is where food is stored and gradually broken down, patients need to eat much smaller amounts of food several times a day to not overwhelm their intestines and avoid a condition called dumping syndrome, which is common among these patients. This condition is caused by rapid entry of food into the small intestines and can cause nausea, vomiting, pain, and diarrhea. It can also result from a rapid rise and fall of blood sugar, leading to a fast heart rate, weakness, and confusion. While chewing thoroughly, eating slowly, and drinking an hour before eating can all help with digestion and prevent these individuals from getting too full, there may be some types of foods, like sweets, fats, and dairy products, that they won't be able to tolerate. But it really is important that these patients keep eating or use high-calorie supplements in order to minimize rapid weight loss, which can lead to gallstones and osteoporosis. And because the stomach also helps to absorb vitamins, some patients will need to rely on supplements to avoid vitamin deficiencies. Due to the success rate and chance for living cancer-free, some individuals who test positive for a genetic mutation related to a hereditary and aggressive gastric cancer are choosing to have their stomach removed as a method of cancer prevention called prophylactic surgery. In a small study of 20 patients with this gene mutation who chose to have the surgery, 45% said their quality of life was now better than they expected. These results may provide hope for others at risk of or with gastric cancer that life without a stomach is in fact possible. So are there any other medical conditions that you want me to talk about next? Let me know in the comment section below, I'm taking suggestions for future videos. Curious to know what would happen if you only drank milk? Check out this video. Large amounts of calcium can cause numerous health issues. It can wreak havoc on your kidneys, resulting in kidney stones forming from calcium deposits, or milk alkali syndrome from an acid imbalance resulting in loss of kidney function. As always, my name is Blocko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.